complete my video of the build uh, hopefully next week but we're going Thursday night of this week it's supposed to be really good weather we've got a state park not too far from us kind of got to go little, gonna kind of get a trial run uh, on her so all right guys <laughs> That's awesome. woke up see the I don't know if you can see the condensation you know it's on everything though it's dripping but it is what it is at the moment oh and like coffee I'm glamping. well guys it's um Woke up from first night of trying out the tent. Um, it was a wet one last night. The dew was just extremely heavy. Um, and it didn't hurt our help that we're under this massive tree either. Um, so a couple of things that I've learned. Uh, one, we're in a park that has I mean, there's, I don't know, you can't see it, but there's a squirrel right back over here running through. Um, all night long, they were um, climbing in the trees and shaking things out. And th just things would hit the top of the tent all night long. So um, if we come back here, we will be picking a site that is not um, covered with a tree. Uh, I kind of thought it was a good thing. I was like, well, it blocks the sun. But yeah, let's not do that again. It was really cold. It, uh, it was colder than what I expected it to be, I guess. But we had some last minute changes. I brought a heater to keep us warm, but my daughter ended up coming with us at the last minute and she is in a ground tent. So we just sacrificed and gave it to her. Uh, we needed that in our tent last night. It was cold. Other than that, I mean, it slept good. It's perfect length. It's uh, 88 inches long, even though it's got radius cuts on it. For me and my wife, it was plenty of room. Um, other than the fact we were freezing to death. I had a heater, um, but I give it to my daughter because it got colder than we had anticipated. 